Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm okay. fine, thanks. All right, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. All right, thank you. I got a message que decía que no se escuchaba bien my audio, but it's good. All right, wonderful. Welcome tonight. Tonight is tonight's the night. <laughs> no, what's the March day? 21. March, March 21st. 21. Yes, Monday. Monday. That's right. Welcome. How are you? How was your weekend? How was your day? Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Welcome. Did you have a good weekend? What did you do? Did you go to the beach? Did you go to the park? Did you clean the house? Did you stay at home? Did you see a movie? Nothing. Uh -huh. This weekend, uh, the past weekend, uh, we stay at home. Oh, your microphone is jammy, I think. Can you repeat that, please? The weekend, mm -hmm. uh, we stay at home. We stayed at home, nice. What else? Somebody else? Somebody else? I I went weekend um party. Uh, I went to birthday. a party. Uh, yes. Nice. You want uh, the children? Um, I, ¿cómo se dice? Invitaron. Invited. Uh, invited uh, my son a la party. Thank oh, you. nice. So your children got an invitation to the party. Nice. Good. Miss Adriana Barrero, tell us, what did you do on the weekend? Uh, my weekend, I cleaned the house. Mm -hmm. And this is my, my grandfather. Oh, nice. I visited my grandfather. Great. Where? Where did you go to visit your grandfather? In Acajutla. In Acajutla. Nice. So you live near? Yes. Ah, oh, nice. Great. All right. Somebody else? Miss Eva, Miss Marta, Mr. Mejia. Miss Marlene Martinez. Hi, good evening. Hey, good evening. Welcome. How are you? Very good. And you? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you for asking. I'm doing great. Awesome. Okay. How was your weekend? What did you do? Uh, in my weekend, I was working. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, my God. Sunday and Saturday. Sunday and no Saturday and Sunday I sleep. <laughs> you slept. <laughs> okay, you rested on Sunday. Oh, you spent the whole night working. Ah. Awesome. Okay. Nice. Welcome. Somebody else? Miss Marta? Uh -huh. uh, good, 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 good evening. Good How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. All right. Tell us, what did you do on the weekend? Um, in the weekend, we went celebrate my father's birthday. Mm -hmm. And I 
a cake. You ate cake. Oh, nice. Yes. That sounds delicious. Yes, delicious. <laughs> what type of cake? What kind of cake? Fruit cake, chocolate cake, vanilla? A fruit cake. Nice. That's your favorite or his favorite? Yes. Nice. My, my father. Uh -huh. Your father's favorite cake is fruit cake. Yes. That's great. How old is your father now? Um, 68. Oh, really? My father is 66. Oh, okay. <laughs> they are about the same age. But my father has an aunt that is 90. 90 years old. She's very old. Yes. Thank God. Thank God she's still here. Okay, great. Somebody else? Miss Anna Mayorga, Mr. William Liborio. Somebody else was here. Oh, Mr. Aravin. I am still doubting and hesitating if I'm pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> it is okay, teacher. Hi, good evening. How do you pronounce it once again? Eraivin. Eraivin. <laughs> uh -huh. so don't as worry. If it, as if it has a stress on the first E. Eraivin. Uh, Eraivin. What a shame. Yes. I, I never remember that. No, don't worry. And, Everybody and that, and that happens to all people as they yes. wish. <laughs> Everybody pronounces as they want. <laughs> Don't worry. Now you understand that nobody pays attention to the way you pronounce it. But I I had used to it. <laughs> I got used to it. And I think, and I think, and I, I promise that at least for the last class, I'll pronounce it correct. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, teacher. How was your weekend? Uh, it was a good weekend. I rested a lot nice like a lot a lot and i ate a lot also and i stayed here in my house oh, nice. just watching tv okay hibernating yes <laughs> saving mode <laughs> saving energy mode exactly, well teacher. i had a I had a very, very busy Friday. So on Saturday, I didn't want to get up. I didn't even want to get out of the house. I just wow. spent the whole day here. Oh, from time to time, I got up and clean. I went back to the sofa, I watched a video. Then I went back to the kitchen, did some something else. But yesterday, I went to like different places because I needed to buy something for an event we're having on the next uh, Friday. So Fridays are usually terrible. All right, somebody yeah. else? Miss Daisy, welcome. Hi. Hi, how are you? Very, very thank you. <laughs> well, wow, tell us about your weekend. Don't be shy. Uh -huh. It's your opportunity to use the past tense. Yes, I am home. Uh -huh. You stayed at home. What else? Yes. Uh -huh. No more. Well, taking advantage. Oh. The key. Today, I sent a message. Remember? Do you remember the message I shared on WhatsApp? Yes, teacher. You told us that some yes. people uh, the, uh, need to still, complete, right? Uh -huh, still haven't finished. Tomorrow is the last class, you know? Yes. So we need to complete that until, okay, the last, very, very last day, very last opportunity. You have tomorrow until midnight. Okay, so please do it. Okay, in Spanish, the interpretation, los que definitivamente no lo han logrado, tienen hasta mañana para completarlo hasta midnight, pero ese es como last, last chance, ¿verdad? 
Y lo pueden hacer entre hoy, si no lo han hecho, obviamente, si ya lo hicieron, congratulations, ¿ok? So you have to have everything finished. Section 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Today, tonight, because it's night already, and tomorrow morning, afternoon, and that's it. No nos dimos cuenta, pero this is over. Tomorrow is the it's last a, class, yes? I have a question talking Tell about me. it. Do you know when are we going to begin the next model? Mm. Or if we are going to wait? I'm not Hold quite up. sure, but I can I can ask. I'm gonna write here a reminder for myself to ask. Okay, okay? thank you, teacher. Right. So I might have an answer tomorrow because I'm not quite sure of that information. About okay, thank you. yes, the beginning of the next course. Yes. Okay. Did you have to wait a lot before you start this one? No, this one no, but the last, uh, mm -hmm. the the first model that I that I had with with uh, English Corporativo. Mm -hmm. You had to wait uh, a lot. Yes, like two months. No way. I thought that it had finished. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, hopefully this time you won't. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. No problems. All right. Welcome. Let's get started with the presentation. Let me just move this a bit. All right, here we go. As I was mentioning, tomorrow is our last class and today we have the class number 15. Okay, so describe your childhood. Ah, when we were young. <laughs> so you're going to remember, get those memories back when you were a kid, when you were a child. Okay, by using, of course, the past of be, which is was and where. But before we do that, uh -huh, we're going to solve this exercise. Let's see. Hmm, I'm going to get this annotary thinking for the text and you're going to be telling me the possible answers. All right. Okay. Hold on one more thing. Okay. They were, they was. They were. Definitely the were. So we say, hold on. They were at the hospital three days ago. Two. Uh huh. You were. You what? were. On the phone this morning. You were on the phone this morning. That's right. The children. Where. Where. The children were. Very quiet. No, the children were quiet. <laughs> they are all. Also, the children were or weren't. What do you think? Weren't. They weren't. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, because so they, they were, were not. Let's say right. Let's put it separate. They were not quiet, so they weren't quiet. They are always noisy. Jerry was in was. Helsinki last week. In Helsinki last week, she was. was. She was home At. for dinner last Wednesday. My in this dog, case, yes. Teacher, in this case, we don't have to add the at. She was at home. Actually, it's not that, necessary. Uh, sometimes it, it sounds correct. She was home. She was at home. Either or. Probably okay. if you say she was home, it's not that formal if you added the preposition at home, right? It's just to emphasize that she was at home, not somewhere okay. else. She was Thank home you. for dinner. Yes, yeah, she was there. Uh huh. My doll was a German Shepherd. It uh -huh. wasn't a German uh -huh. Shepherd. Yeah, in it that was case, we will have to add a negative form, right? Yeah, my doll wasn't a German a German Shepherd. It was. It was a Labrador. Uh huh. A Labrador Retriever, right? A good film on TV yesterday. 
Where? There were a good film? They were. There were sounds good or there was? There was. Yeah, because a film there was is a, movie, a good. Right? There was a good film. Yes, one, because it's one movie. There was a good film on TV yesterday. We, last summer. We were in Brazil. Yeah, we were. Summer. We were. We wish, right? <laughs> we were in Brazil last summer there. Were many beautiful beaches there. Yes, there were many beautiful beaches there. Fred and Vilma. Where? Where? Fred where? and Vilma is they, so they were, right? At school this morning. <laughs> Accident. I was. I was happy or I wasn't happy? I wasn't happy was when I happy. heard about the accident. Yes, because when bad news come, we're not happy. So I wasn't happy when I heard about the accident. I was not happy about that. Right? So this is just to make a small review. Let's see. All my drawings are going to be deleted. Hold on. My mouse. Okay. How about your childhood? What do you remember from your childhood? ¿Se recuerdan cuando eran kids? Yes, of course. <laughs> yes. Yes, teacher. Hace poquito. Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of months ago. <laughs> okay, talk about your childhood. As a child, I was very happy. I was very curious. I was introverted. I was um, very hyperactive. I, I was shy. I was quiet. I don't know. I was so smart. Whatever you want to say, okay? When I was six, I, I got my first bicycle. Uh, my best friend was Julia. I don't know, whatever you want to say as a child. So this is something we're gonna do in a in a in a bit. So don't worry. Don't say, oh no, teacher, I don't know how to say my childhood. Okay, let's practice with this. Did you sleep well last night? This is a common question we usually ask people when we see people that are tired stress or exhausted did you sleep well last night of course these are all the form to answer i he she we you they did or didn't right i he she okay was or wasn't okay we you they were or weren't so these are the examples did you sleep well last night yes i did i was tired did Roger sleep well last night? No, he didn't. He wasn't tired. Okay? So he was like <laughs> awake all night. So this is what we're going to follow to answer. Okay? I, he, she, we, you, they did or didn't. Okay? Of course, in this case, we're going to follow the example. And we're going to say, yes, I did. Yes, he did. Yes, she did. Right? this case did you sleep well last night yes i did i was tired did roger sleep well last night no he didn't because he wasn't tired okay so this is she the all right and then these are the other questions that you're gonna ask did frank have a big breakfast today yes he did he was hungry right Mm -hmm. Number two, did Telma have a big breakfast today? No. No what? Uh -huh. Anybody knows? Did Telma have a big breakfast today? No? No, she didn't. She wasn't hungry. Yes? So remember the example. So here's the example. Yes? So I'm going to share these two slides. I'm going to share this, the examples, of course, how you, ha you have to answer according to the photo, according to the picture. And then I'm going to share this one for you to continue practicing, okay? Is that clear? 
All right. Let's make the groups. How many groups do we need for this activity? I'm going to make five only. So probably you're going to be with more partners. Well, let's make this one. Six instead. But let's practice, okay? Let's practice as much as possible. Se podría entender que lo que ahí ha sucedido es un decomiso de las unidades. Se supone que eso es como decomiso. La puede ver. Sí, está un poco pequeñita. La gran un poquito. Ahora sí. Ahora sí. Sí, ahora sí. Caso de la primera dice, did Frank have a big breakfast today? Yes. Yes, did, ¿verdad? Yes, he. Yes. Yes, he did. ¿Sí? Estamos afirmando. Yes, he did. Mm. ¿O oh, no? Mm. <laughs> I don't remember. That's correct. Yes, That's yes. correct. Yes, he did. Vaya. He was yes, very he hungry. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Hello? Uh, uh, Hello, teacher? Hi, teacher. Tell me. Es que teníamos dudas. Solo queríamos un ejemplo, por ejemplo, con a uno, como para formular los demás. Mm -hmm. Did Frank have a big breakfast today? Yes, he did. He was hungry. Yes, he did. Él estaba hambriento. Ajá, por eso tuvo un desayuno grande. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. En el caso de la segunda sería no. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. She wasn't. She wasn't. Oh, okay. She wasn't. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se pronuncia con el not contratado? Didn't. She wasn't. Oh, no, she didn't. She wasn't hungry. Wasn't. Yes. Wasn't. Y el did con el not contratado? Didn't. 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 Mm -hmm. didn't. didn't. Oh. Yes. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, you're welcome. Del teléfono. Hello. Hello, teacher. Do you have any questions? Yes, teacher. Yo les muestro. Don't worry. Ya está. 
Ahí está Mister compartiendo. Pero no encuentro. Váyase a la pestaña arriba donde dice WhatsApp. Arriba, arriba, arriba. Las dos pestañitas. Aquí. Ajá, ahí. Dele. Vaya, ahora váyase a la imagen que compartí en el grupo. No me sale. ¿Dónde tiene el grupo de inglés? ¿Cómo se llama el grupo de inglés? ¿Cómo lo ha nombrado usted? ¿A Odele refrescar? Ve, espérame, espérame. Ajá, exactly. Creo que pones arriba, o sea, tiene el, 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 el... Ahí está, el P3, ahí. ¿Esta? Ajá, ahí está. Ahora sí, dele sobre la imagen. Ahí está. Excelente. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Muy grande. Ah, está bien, es perfect. Ahí la ven muy bien. ¿Está bien así? Sí, sí, así está bien. Te sí, así está bien. Aplausos. Correct. Ya ve, every day we learn something new. Yes, teacher. Great. Thank you. Gracias. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bueno, bueno la primera es Did Grant have a big, a big breakfast today? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Uh -huh. eh, he was hungry. He was hungry. Yes. Uh -huh. El número dos, a Big No, no, she didn't. Ah, she was on. Hola, está por ahí Nidia. Si gustas, continuamos entonces nosotros. Sí. La tres sería yes. I was sick. Perdón, ¿podría repetir la tres? Yes, I did. Repetí la pregunta. This Mr. Shaykh, el doctor yesterday. Repetila, por favor. Ajá. El señor Chen fue al doctor ayer. Ajá. ¿Y la respuesta sería? Yes, I did. No. ¿Por qué tendría que ser I? I es Joy. Están preguntando por ah, Mr. Chen. Answer this. Ah, yes, he, he did. Yes. Ay, voy anotando también para que se me vea que... Adelante. Es bueno que uno anote porque por la memoria corta. Ay, God. Yes, he did. Ajá. He was sick. Exacto. La siguiente dice, Did Mrs. Chain go to the doctor yesterday? Y no, she didn't. Did Kathy Ya yeah, en la, uh -huh. la C, pregunta lo mismo. Sí, ahí la sería, misma pregunta, pero ahí no. sería no. Ajá, no, no didn't. No didn't. No didn't. No vida. No vida. She was. 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 Sonia, me, Bill, Sonia, me, the train. Me, 
Ahí dice que si ella igual, igual, y en la segunda sería no, 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 she didn't. no, 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 Jasmine. Ay. Se me desapareció. Ahorita, ahorita lo vuelvo. Vaya. Ahí está. Ajá. Vaya. Ay. Pide que le responda. Vaya, dicho. Did Frank have a big, big fast today? Yes, he did. He was hungry. Did Telma have a big breakfast today? No, she didn't. She was hungry. She wasn't, Seria. Yes, yes, she wasn't hungry. Did Mr. Chen go to the doctor yesterday? Yes, he did. He was sick. Okay. Did Mr. Chen go to the doctor yesterday? No, she didn't. She wasn't sick. Okay. Did Billy finish his milk? Yes, he did. He was thirsty. Did Katie finish her, her milk? No, she didn't. She wasn't thirsty. Did Sonia miss the train? Yes, she did. She was late. Did Stuart miss the train? No, he didn't. He wasn't late. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ahora, bueno. Did you complete the exercise? Did you practice? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. About the verb miss. Mm -hmm. Miss means señorita and perder. Actually, or, it means also wrong? extrañar. <laughs> when you uh, missed when... a class, yes, that means that you didn't go to the class. You missed a class. Or if you say uh, you met somebody, then you miss that person. Teacher, in this case, in the in the question number seven, mm -hmm. it was like perder el tren. He missed the train, sí, no lo pudo tomar. So it has different meanings. Exactly. And when you say miss for, for the title of a lady, in that mm -hmm. case, it's not a verb. In that case, it's a noun. But in the case that you don't take a train, that you miss the train, that you miss a class, that you miss the plane, that's an action. Yes. Okay. That you Thank didn't you, accomplish. Teacher. Exactly. All right. Okay. Great. Any other question about the exercise or it was easy? <laughs> Finish. Finish the exercise. An easy exercise. Yes, teacher. Kind of, right? It's just a matter of practice, definitely. Okay. Well, let's say. This was the example, right? Okay. Did you sleep well last night? Yes, I did. I was tired. Then we have, did Roger sleep well last night? No, he didn't. He wasn't tired. All right, then. Did Frank have a big breakfast today? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, he did. He? Did Telma have a big breakfast today? 
No, she didn't. No, no she, she didn't. Did. No, she didn't. She was she was she she wasn't hungry. hungry. She wasn't hungry. She wasn't hungry. Did Mr. Shen go to the doctor yesterday? Yes, he yes, did. He did. Yes, yes, he did. He did. He? Yes, he did. He was, he was, he was sick. sick, right? Did Mrs. Shen go to the doctor yesterday? No, no she didn't. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. She wasn't sick. She wasn't sick. She wasn't sick. Did Bill finish his milk? Yes, yes, he, yes he did. Yes, he did. He, did. He, did. He, did. he was. He was. He was. He was, he was thirsty. thirsty. Right. Did yes. Katie finish her, her milk? No, 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 she didn't. She wasn't thirsty. She wasn't thirsty. Hold on. Okay, no. did Sonia miss the train? Yes, yes, yes. she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she, did. Yes, she, did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. She was, she was, she was late. late. She was late. Did a steward miss the train? No, he no. didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He was, he was he wasn't late. late. He wasn't late. He wasn't so late. he took the train. He didn't miss the train, right? Okay, nice. What else? You already practiced these conversations. Now questions. WH questions. With did, was, and where. So let's check these examples first. Hold on. Okay, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up means donde creciste, right? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. How, oh, sorry. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. So, where, when, why, how, all, what, how, all these are information. WH questions mean information. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Santa Ana, I grew up in Santa Tecla, I grew up in Sonsonate. That means donde creciste. Traten como de ir respondiendo esto, pero de acuerdo a su realidad. Of course, Todos tendremos diferentes respuestas, ¿verdad? When did you come to Los Angeles? Usted nunca ha ido a Los Ángeles. Puede ser, when did you move to Santa Ana? When did you uh, become, or when did you graduate? When did you, cuando, ¿cuándo sucedió algo en tu pasado? When did you get married? When I was 24, when I was 26, no sé. ¿Ok? O a menos que se hayan movido. Mudado, más bien dicho, a otra ciudad podría ser When did you move? When did you go? When did you come? Yes, when did you come to Santa Tecla? When did you come to San Salvador? Could be, right? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. I came to San Salvador in 2000, 2001. Okay. Why did you become a hairstylist? Or oh, why did you become an engineer? Why did you become? Porque te volviste, porque te, te convertiste en una doctora. Why did you become a, a doctor? Because I wanted to help people, because I wanted to work in a hospital, no sé. How old were you in 1990? How old were you in 2010, 10 years ago? I was 20, I was 18, I was 15, I don't know, right? What was your major in college? Este es el caso de que hayamos ido a la universidad. ¿Cuál era su carrera? Yes? What was your major in college? It was medicine, it was law, it was marketing, it was business, right? It was education, like in my case. How was college? ¿Cómo era la universidad? It was great, it was cool, it was easy, it was fantastic, okay? <laughs> so, you have these questions and you have these answers, right? So you have to match this question with these answers. For example, when and where were you born? ¿Cuál es la respuesta correcta? I was born in 
1983 in Hiroshima, Japan. Yes. Where did you grow up? Y ustedes tienen que buscar la respuesta correcta. ¿Está claro? Is this clear? Yes. yes Perfect. So work with your partners. I'm going to send the screenshot. Don't worry. match the question with the answer. La number two. Where did you grow, grow up? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? I grew up in San Francisco Botera. Ok. Sí. Porque pregunta dónde creciste y dónde uh -huh. naciste es diferente. Ajá, es diferente. Sí, uh -huh. está bien. Um, la number three, when did you start school? Ahí sería cuando iniciaste la escuela. Uh -huh. Entonces sería. Ay. Entre Fritz Crying. En mi caso, ¿cómo sería 2012? ¿Cómo sería ¿Where did you grow up? Sería la F. I grew up. I grew up in Tokyo. Okay. When did you start school? I letter G. Creería que sí. Okay. How old were you then? I was six. There are eight. Number four. Letter A, I was six. ¿Cuál sí. dijo? Number four. Mm -hmm. How old were you then? Letter A, I was six. Six. <laughs> Number five. How was your first day of school? William. Hola. Eh, sería como la H, creo. I was a little scary. Yes. Number six. Who was your first friend in the school? Our baby was a Julico. Yes. What was he? She like? What was? 
Let it be. She was asking. She was really shy, see? Number eight. What did you take this class? Sería la, la e. Why did you take this class? My English wasn't very good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ok. Me gusta practicamos lo de arriba también. Sí, ahorita. I don't, I don't have I friends. Don't have, I did, sería. I did. Tell I me. Did. Hi, teacher. Tell me. ¿Cómo, tell me. ¿Cómo respondería si no tuve amigos? I didn't en, have. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't. Um, I didn't have any good friend at school. <laughs> or I didn't sí. have a best friend at school. O oh, sí. también, I was lonely boy, era un chico solitario. I was shy. Generalmente era porque uno era bien tímido. I was very shy. Um, y uh -huh. I was very shy. Yeah, I was alone most of the time. ¿Cuándo se utiliza es... lonely? Lonely mm. es como realmente, es como ya el grado más grande de soledad. <risa> mm. Very lonely, pero generalmente uno, uno estaba rodeado por niños, por compañeros, pero no eran sus amigos. Uh -huh. Uno no considera que tuvo esos amigos, like forever. Uh -huh. Pero lonely, lonely, definitivamente tendría que ser un lugar sin nadie más. That is lonely. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces sería. ¿Estaba estar solo? I was alone. Alone. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O si no, sería, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have, have or I, I didn't, didn't interact. any friends. I didn't have any friends. I had classmates, I had partners, but I didn't have a friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That could okay. be. All right, perfect. No problems. Uh, seven. 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 What, what was... Bueno, si es que tuviste un amigo, what was he like? Bueno, en el anterior tenía que responder un nombre, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, me hicieron algunos. Her name was... Nairi eh. Nairi, ah, es correcto. Hasta una consulta, sí. teacher. Sí, uh -huh. Yes, tell me. Eh, es correcto. Eh, estábamos hablando de las fechas con las compañeras. Uh -huh. eh, en una de las clases usted dijo que hasta, hasta antes del 2000 se podía decir los dos números pares, digamos, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí, como digamos por decir, cada dos cifras. Pero ya a partir del 2000 ya no, ¿verdad? No se escuchaba como muy nice, entonces la okay. gente siempre tendría que decir 2000 y algo, 2001, 2002, 2001, 2002, 2003. Hasta allí por el 2010 ya empezaron a decir otra vez 2010. 2011, 2013, 2019, 2020. ¿Se puede seguir diciendo así? Porque ya se, o sea, ya no se malentendía, pues ya eran como posible decir de dos en dos las cifras. O 2015 se puede decir 2015. 2015 o 2015. Y de ambas formas se entiende. Ah, ok. Ah, pues uh -huh. sí, Marixa. Uh -huh. Estaba okay. muy correcto. Ah, pues no hay problema. Ok, okay. no problem. Entonces, Ok. Ay. Why did you become a blogger? Yo creo que no me escuchó, ¿verdad? Tuve problemas con el internet. Yeah. Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Y que, ajá, el pasado de grow sería grew. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Tokyo. Ya es como que no pronuncias la O, sino que te va de un solo la U, casi. I grew up in Tokyo. ¿Alguna otra?
Yo creo que es el estándar de este. La F. And I grew up. I grew up. I uh -huh. grew up in Tokyo. Es grew. I grew no, es justo es? la que te estaba hablando, que ah, el es, de aquí, de, ah. es la respuesta de ella. Ah. I grew up in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Ya. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Un gusto. Thank you, thank you, thank you. O alguna otra, no sé, seguimos practicando. Pues yo creo que sí. Ok, hagamos la salteada. No sé, o tú me preguntas y yo te respondo. Este, when I were, where you grow? Mm, where did you grow up? Ah, sería, I grew up in Tokyo. What hall were you playing? Perdón. Era cuatro. What hall were you playing? No sé ah, si no sé. how La old? How es, old? Ajá. A pesar de que tiene una O, la pronunciación es como con A. How old were you then? I was six. Porque esta pregunta no le da. Hola, aquí estoy. Hola. ¿Qué pasa que le apago el micrófono? Porque como que sí tengo hijos, vea. Lo siento por la bulla del fondo, pero estoy No, don't casa, worry, ¿no? don't worry. O sea, mis hijos no... A veces no le puedo poner tapón. <ríe> no, yo pensé que era un televisor el que estaba encendido. No. Pero, ajá, pero no, no te preocupes. Adelante. Estamos preguntando y respondiendo. Si gustas, pregunta cualquiera y te respondemos. Ya terminó. Vaya. Este. Vamos a ver. Why did you take this class? Pasaron dos minutos. Sería. My English wasn't very good. A ver, la otra sería How old were you seen? Eh, I was. Sí, esa está. Esa ahí está. Ya casi. ¿Cómo se dice? Ya casi. Teacher. Almost. Almost. <risa> Where did you grow up? Sería in one in Berlin, Usurotan. Hello. Hola, teacher. Hi. Tenemos la duda cómo se referencia la pronunciación de where con where. <laughs> where and where. <laughs> But el where de dónde es un poquito más fuerte porque lleva una H. Lleva W H E R E. Entonces, where. Where. Como, casi como una j entre la W y la E. Where. Y la otra es where. Where. Y la otra es where. Más relajada. Where. Más relajada. Where. Where. 
Where, where? Uh, mm -hmm. Where, where? Where are you born? Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, no problem. ¿Cómo, cómo se dice, teacher? Eh, bueno, Melvin dice que fue a, a la escuela que le quedaba más cerca a su casa. ¿Cómo tendría que contestar? I went to the school mm -hmm. that was near my house. Esa es una forma. Near Or I went house. to the nearest school from my house. The nearest es como la más cercana. Uh, the near, nearest, como el superlativo de near. Uh, near, okay. far, wherever you are. <laughs> near. near. Near my house. I went to school near my house. Near my house. Okay. Number two. Uh, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Daisy. Berlin, Usulután. I grew up in Berlin, Usulután, says Daisy. Teacher. Okay. Yes. Grow, grow up. Grow up. Se, grow up. Este... Suena igual en pasado, casi que... Grew. Es como una U. Grew up. Grow yeah. is present. Grew is past. I grew up in uh, Berlin, Usulután. Grew up. Grew up. Es que se pronuncia grew up in past. Berlin, Usulután. Uh -huh. I grew up. Gracias. I grew up. Uh -huh. mm. Es como no, new. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Grow, okay. grow. Grow, grew. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Como Mr. Goo. <laughs> Soy Group. <laughs> Ajá. Ok. Hi. Where's everybody? <laughs> come back. Come back, come back, come back. Oh my God. We didn't finish the exercise, but for tomorrow, everybody's going to tell us about your childhood. Yes? Por lo menos contarnos desde cuándo nacieron, dónde nacieron, cuándo fueron chiquitines, cuándo entraron al kinder, a la escuela, cuándo fueron creciendo por lo menos hasta los 15 años, ¿ok? So, <laughs> I was born in Cabañas, then my parents moved to San Salvador, I grew up in San Salvador, I entered school when I was six years old, I didn't have many friends at school because I was a little bit shy, Entonces, como esa historia, desde que nacieron, lo que les contaron su papá, when you were baby, hasta por lo menos cuando fueron adolescentes, ¿ok? So, van a hacer una mini presentation for tomorrow. No es que van a traer PowerPoint ni nada, pero por lo menos contarnos cómo eran de chiquitos. Your childhood, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Perfect. See you yes. tomorrow. God bless you. Have a good night. Okay, bye. Good night. 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 Good night.